Don't tell me I was not recording any of that. I'm gonna be so pissed. Hey guys, it's your girl Zeno. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I make content on food, vlogs, and lifestyle and random things sprinkled in between because that's just the way my brain works. But if you like that kind of vibe, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Today, we are going to Dunkin'. They have some new things. I thought this one was worth trying, so here we are again. We're gonna go to Dunkin'. It is bright and early in the morning. It's not that bright. It's kind of cloudy out if you can't see in the back, but I ordered the chorizo and egg Dunkin' wrap. Wrap, the chicken and toasted pepper Dunkin' wrap, salted caramel cold brew, a caramel chocolate specialty donut, and of course the hash browns. We can't go to Dunkin' without getting the hash browns. But before we go into the goodies, let me get into a review about Anna Luisa. So y'all already know I partnered up with Anna Luisa a while back and they sent me some jewelry and I've been wearing them ever since. A lot of the pieces are kind of like my statement pieces so I don't really wear them often but these earrings I've kept in since the first day I got them. They are still in such good condition. There's no tarnish. It literally looks perfect still. But you know, with normal cleanings and stuff, I wear them to the gym, working out, mowing the lawn, like literally everything. So these go through the ringer, even though they're on my ear. They still look good. And of course, we got some other pieces that I'll show you a little bit in, in the next clip. Those pieces are also so cute still. Like, there's no tarnishing. I think that's the biggest thing for me is when pieces tarnish. I feel that everyone's tarnishing rate with jewelry is a little bit different based off of their pH on their skin. And that affects the different metals, etc, etc. These pieces, like every single one of them that I've gotten so far, hasn't tarnished, hasn't gotten a scratch on it. The best part about it, they're now backed by a two-year warranty where it used to only be one the quality is there and it makes me so happy because i finally found a jewelry brand that has no tarnishing doesn't break it's not fragile the quality is there it's water resistant and some of it's waterproof and on top of that it's hypoallergenic which is huge because my fingers ain't turning green yet so we love that for us and they're also a carbon neutral company so it just makes things 10 times better they're backed by caring about the environment and also they are on trend they have such cute pieces it's not just like super chunky pieces or whatever they have different colors different styles for everyone and also on top of that like look at this this necklace is also from them this one's not but this one the flat one super cute i always pair it with this one whenever i want a little bit more like just a little something extra you know but maybe in the future we'll have a brand deal with them who knows but i absolutely love annalisa i just feel like their jewelry is actually worth quality and the pricing is actually not that expensive like the quality to be there and the style and the color and it just matches your fit you know what i mean it's top tier so if y'all want a code and you want some money off your next order go in the description i'll link it down below and i'll probably put it like i don't know somewhere let's put it right there <laughs> but let's go get the goodies now because i'm hungry <laughs> hmm? bitch don't tell me i was not recording any of that i'm gonna be so pissed guys so we did the whole review and we didn't even freaking record it <laughs> i'm gonna do it all over again just for you guys and i'm gonna summarize it a little bit but we started off with the chorizo wrap and she was really good the inside's a little bit mushy but will we do it again yes mm. i'm gonna rate this a six out of ten flavors there the middle part it's a little bit mushy so i don't really mm, eh. If you know what I mean. I wasn't even planning on eating this much, but here we are. I really like how not thick and dry the outside wrap is. Because you already know how overwhelming some wraps are. It just be too much, you know. But this one's good. There be flavor in here. She's pretty good. A little bit mushy on the inside, but I feel like that's where the flavor is, you know. And then we have the drink. We got a salted caramel cream cold brew with the little sprinkles on top. You can still see a little bit of the sprinkles left on top because your girl slurped it all up basically. This is one of the best drinks I've ever had. I would do this 100% again. I don't normally come back to Dunkin'. I don't normally buy out a lot. I really do it only for the videos, but like, don't get me wrong. I still love going out to do that because it's trying new things. But this one I feel like is a definite come back to again. 
Mm. Put almond milk in here too, so you know we don't die because you know, your girl's lactose. Ooh, we did have salted caramel cold cream up top. Oh well, YOLO. Hopefully I don't die on this trip down in DC today. It is what it is. This one, 100% would do again. Real tasty. And of course, we have the hash browns because we can't go to Dunkin' without hash browns. I already ate like half of these. Mm. Oh my God, no. The filling, the sauce. The filling in the sauce is probably the best part, but this one has a lot of, this one's a chicken one, but it has a lot of filling. That's the one thing about these. these the filling part isn't skimpy, so I appreciate that. Mm. The chicken sausage, flavor's still there, but I feel like it's less flavorful than the chorizo one. Chorizo just has so much flavor. I love it. This one's just chicken sausage, so I don't know. I feel like I have chicken sausage a lot or turkey sausage. So to me, this is like nothing new. It's just another day with some mush. I feel like this one's more mushy than a chorizo one too. So that's probably why I'm not a big fan. I would rate this like a four out of 10 just because it is a little bit more on the mushy side, but still good. Same wrap on the outside. It's pretty tasty. Not that it's not tasty or anything, but... Oh my gosh, I'm so mad that it wasn't even recording. It was such a good video. But it's okay. We still got more because your girl was smart and decided that she was going to save some of this food for the trip down, which I still am. Because I don't have to eat all of it, you know? And this was my first time trying a chocolate donut already eaten <laughs> the last time i had a chocolate donut was back in grade school when someone it was someone's birthday and they brought in munchkins that was the only time i had a chocolate one little mini chocolate glazed one but i thought this was like it's good it's not everything but it's not as sweet as all the other ones that i've tried so far which is really nice the top has like chocolate shavings and also caramel like icing top i don't know if you can see. yeah you can see that I feel like after one bite, I'm good, you know? Yeah, before I get a headache, I'm gonna put that down. It's not my favorite thing. I feel like the only donut that I quote unquote have liked was the mochi donuts that I had in New York. Check out the video if you haven't seen that video because there was so much good food in that video. But the mochi donut was like everything. I wish we had something like that around here, but of course, the suburbs doesn't have that kind of stuff. I definitely thought this was a successful run. If you guys haven't checked out any of the other videos yet, definitely do so. I feel like I am starting to wean off a little bit from the fast food side and getting more into home cooked meals and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in learning about what I do in my day to day life, comment down below and let me know if you're interested. I'll make some more of that kind of content. But I also took a little bit of a hiatus because you're going to need a little bit of mental space. And honestly, I'm I'm so happy right now. I've been focusing more on my business side of things. I'm also an esthetician outside of doing YouTube and all the social media stuff and my daytime job, etc, etc. I'm a girl with many hats, but I do facials, lashes, brows. I can do waxing, but I just don't, I just don't offer it as a service. But yeah, go check that out if you're interested, especially if you're a local girly. Like, let me know. I got you. I'll hook you up. Thank you guys so much for following and stay tuned for more goodies planning on doing a raffle for my business so definitely follow my page and check it out i'll link that down below and also don't forget to check out annalisa because their jewelry is on point and i'll catch you guys back in my next video bye guys